Do you have a favorite, favorite memory of Big Al? No, I'm, I'm putting you on the spot right there. Oh, gosh, dude. After 20-something years. Um... Uh, go to Kelly. <laughs> well, my, mine is mine, mine's mean, my first meeting because a lot so of people, I, I get asked, like, a lot of people think I won that Radio Dream Job uh, oh, contest really? that we had back in the day because it happened right after I got hired. Yeah. But one of the main reasons I got hired was because I didn't follow directions. <laughs> because you didn't follow Because I did not follow directions. Okay. And that, that kid told me that's what he liked about me, Yeah. which is weird to hear from a guy that's going to hire that. I like that you didn't follow directions. But it said, send an email. To this person, and it was not Kid Craddock, and it had an email. So I was like, well, that's not the host of the show. That's not Kid Craddock. Ah, so you just showed some initiative. Yeah, so I just went online, and I found Kid's personal email. Gotcha. And, I, okay. and that's where I sent it, and I received a call literally the next day. Yeah. From, uh, it was our friend Steve Scott, who's Scuba Steve. And he's yeah. like, hey, this is Steve. Did you not follow directions on, on the job post? And I was <laughs> like, yeah, with all due respect, I just I just figured I'd send it to Kid, and that's where Kid came in with that Kid Craddock laughter that he has, and uh, we started chatting. And we, we when we had our interview, he didn't believe that I was Mexican because, you know, I don't Mexican, apparently I, yeah. apparently I don't look like I'm full on Mexican, Mexican enough. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so Kid, to make sure that I wasn't a liar, brought his Mexican friend along <laughs> to, to speak Spanish with me <laughs> to, the, to, to our dinner. I'm like, who's this random dude? To verify your yeah. Mexicanness. Yeah. La later, he told me, yeah, I just brought him along to to make sure you were Mexican. Make sure you weren't pulling my leg. That's funny. Do you have a favorite memory, Jenna? I have lots. Yeah. I mean, I have one that doesn't really pertain to work at all. Was you know, kid tried to teach me to play golf, and that was really special yeah. to me because kid, us knowing kid, he was always kind of all over the place and sometimes hard on us at work for the best, you know. But when we played golf, he wasn't that way, you know. Like he ever, he was patient. He was always very supportive, even when I was terrible. So I liked that side of him because it was something that he wasn't the best at in yeah. that environment. Mm -hmm. And so it was nice to see him totally chill and, you know, having fun playing golf. And I, I really liked that side. So for me, that's something I've tried to stick with even poorly so anytime I You're go good. play golf, it makes me think of Kid because he loved it so much and he really wanted to be good, but we just never had the time to get good. But the thing that made me laugh the hardest was when he cooked with jalapenos and then went to pee. <laughs> oh, and his crotch and was his on drunk, fire? And his drunk was on fire for days. <laughs> like, that made me laugh so hard. And then he made this song. It was so stupid, but I loved when he did the Ian bit. It Ian? was so stupid. Ian. It was the stupidest. It was short and stupid. I just, it cracked me yeah. up every time. Kelly? Well, JC, now that I've had a lot of time to think about yeah. it, um, I would probably say the most memorable ones for me would be the mommy test. Pull out know, sense, it pull frustrated out me to no end because he'd give me a script. I'm sorry, some of it was scripted. And he wouldn't stick to it. And then so, you know, and so I'm trying to get back on course and he's just aggravating me, which was his point. Yeah. Just to aggravate me. But my real favorite um, thing he did, I think, had to be um, when he wrote that book. Uh, the first one? The first book. Rude Awakening. Oh, Rude Awakening. Thank you. No, Rude Awakening. Blank on yeah. that. That yeah. was so funny. He literally, he's, he had this big, bright idea. He was going to write a book, and I was going to read a chapter live every day on the air. Yeah. And he wouldn't let me read it ahead of time. So I, I got to read it with everybody else. I heard it for the first time when well, it was coming you know out what? of my mouth. Because in true Kid Craddock fashion, he probably wrote it right before he came in. He well, that, at first he started, like, yeah. the first he'd go home and he'd sweat and slave over it. And then it got to the point where he'd come in that morning. He's like, oh, i got to write a chapter. <laughs> and during the commercial break, he'd go write a chapter. Yeah. That's it, how brilliant was crazy was. brilliant. That's how brilliant And was. the writing was silly. He'd be like, the man was as tall as a six-foot-two yeah, tree. Yeah, that was like so <laughs> funny. And then he decided to do a follow-up novel where he had my character on a plane. And, of course, I'm because I'm reading the whole book, but he had me on a plane with people from 10 different countries and they were all speaking in their native accent and i was like oh it was crazy that was, that was and he's of course dying laughing no, and no. if you hated on his book or his writing he would uh, write you in and kill you yes he wrote, this one woman was very negative about the book and he wrote her in as a horrible character and killed her <laughs> uh,